I am Jay Herod, a candidate for president in 2012, and people have wanted to know more about me, so here it is. I am 56 years old, straight, six foot one and a half inches tall, with an average weight of 230 pounds. I have brown hair and eyes. I am from Clinton, Louisiana. I am currently married to my third wife. She is in the Army stationed at which borders Colorado Springs, Colorado to the south. I have two children by my previous two other marriages. I am well educated with an IQ of at least 125. As a person, I am an easygoing, caring, and humorous person. It is said I have a big heart. I am a very honest and straightforward person. Early YouTube. You remember those days, uh, the good old days, like 2012, 2013, you know, maybe even, you know, 2010. What kind of videos do you remember from those times? Those were some old gems, you know. You got a uh, filthy Frank, fucker right in the pussy, prank videos, how animals eat. You remember that? I remember that. It was good old days. Along with popular videos that you're remembering right now, bringing that nostalgia are popular creators who garner notoriety through those videos. And as we grow over the years, more and more creators are coming along and bringing a new generation, a new wave of videos that are, you know, our kids and grandkids will laugh at and enjoy just like we did. Now, that being said, what if a creator doesn't get noticed and that popularity goes under the table? Uh, nobody notices the creator, right? As I stated in the last documentary I made about the most delusional child neglector, oh, Carissa, psst, hey, there's a link in the description of that one, you should probably check that out. My mission with these documentaries is to get as many eyes on the creators that fall between the cracks, but because sometimes their actions are abusive and borderline criminal. The person that we're talking about today is an interesting one, to say the least, from running for president, being on Tosh.0, stalking Selena Gomez, and even being featured in the 2008 National Enquirer, this Louisianian, I think that's how that's pronounced anyways, has done everything a person can do to get their rise to fame. But my question is this, is there something deeper? Today we're taking a look at a man, yes a man, just like me, you know, just some random guy. Uh, a man that introduced this guy, alright, to what I like to call cringe comedy. I'm a weird dude, um, not to talk about myself that much, but uh, I think cringe comedy, like that form of comedy, it's a... Uh, not many people appreciate it, you know. Uh, being able to feel disgust or mental anguish, yet you can't seem to look away, and that's what <laughs> that's what makes Law Cows seem so enticing. That being said, allow me to introduce you to a man, a man by the name of Jay Herod. Now again, there isn't any real threats or disturbing content, unless you think a man stripping down in his underwear and dancing is disturbing. Um, but if, if that isn't the type of content you don't want to consume, please, for the love of God. Get out of here, you know, hit, hit the like button on your way out, but go watch another video, you know, for your own mental health. You know, that being said, let's get into this. I am going to introduce you to Jay the same way that I was introduced to him, alright? I'm just going to show you one singular video, and this singular video is going to determine whether or not you like the man or hate the man or think he's funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be doing this by showing you the, the Lindsay video. This video... It's pure cringe, and it begs the question as to who exactly Lindsay is. Uh, I have actually tried my hardest to find a source or some kind of lead to contact them, but as you could expect, the no Lindsay or anybody claiming to be the person um, requesting the video that I'm about to play, they, they haven't contacted me as of recording this video, so... Uh, anyways, enough talk. Editor, you know you know what to do. Play that, play that shit. Hey, Lindsay! This is... Hey, Herod! And Nick, he wanted me to do a special birthday dance for you. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lindsay. Happy birthday to you and many more. And you, 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 doot, 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 doot. And again, and again, and 
again. Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Do, 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 do. And now what y'all be waiting for? Da 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 da. Off goes the shirt. Da 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 da. And off goes the skirt. Da 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 da. And again. Yep. 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 Do 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 da 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 da. And again. And again, So now that you've probably thrown open your mouth, you you probably have a few questions, right? Uh, I had a bunch of questions. Uh, I'm not going to do no Blue's Clues or Door of the Explorer thing and like give y'all enough time to answer, but uh, my initial question when first viewing this was, why the skirt? <laughs> well, that question can actually be answered. Jay suffers from a skin condition and claims that wearing any tight-fitting clothes, um, it causes him to break out in a pretty bad rash. Which I would have claimed as bullshit had I not done an interview with the man a few months back. That's right. That was that's also able to be consumed on my channel. Check out the Jay Harrod playlist. So in that interview, he stated he had a uh, doctor's note allowing him to run around in skirts, uh, whether it be in his front lawn or in public. But now, before you blow the comments up, I did some research into this, and it, this statement can actually be corroborated with a news article from a small town in Louisiana. In the article, it states that he tends to do yard work in his skirts and passerbys. Uh, they don't enjoy seeing that. They claim that he was, to an extent, exposing himself. You stack that with an, a city ordinance that states it's unlawful to intentionally expose genitalia and undergarments, and now there's an issue. As far as I can find, he went to the town hall on a Wednesday in April 2008 to fight against it, and it seems to have come out on top because of the doctor's notes. Um, he's still doing his thing, you know, he's still wearing skirts. He's still being Jay, you know. So now that we've talked about the skirt, uh, there was something I mentioned. There's going to be a couple things that I mentioned here. Um, I, I'm going to get this out of the way. The Tosh.0, oh, uh, I've actually... I've dug, oh man, I dug. I went through the Wikipedia, I went through like the official listings of every episode, uh, at least from 2000 and, I think it was 2010. I checked out, I checked out the first three seasons because this would, that would be around the time when Tosh.0 oh would be covering Jay, but I, I was unable to find anything, which is weird because even Jay says that he's been on the Tosh.0 oh and it, I mean, it, we'll put, we'll put some, uh, some Reddit articles or whatever. But there's so many people that says that he's been on Tosh.0, oh, but I just couldn't find it. I couldn't find the episode. So if there's anybody out there that sees this or knows Jay, um, you know, I would love to see that Tosh.0 oh episode. That would be a, it'd be pretty, pretty hilarious. Hey, future me here. Uh, I actually found the episode of Tosh.0. Oh. I um, it was in season three, episode three, the ice truck, ice cream man. Um, I couldn't really find it because I figured that Jay Harrod would have been in the title of the episodes, but nah, he was just featured in a clip, so I'm going to play that Tosh.0 oh episode right here. Redemption, but first, lock this guy up immediately. Selena Gomez, totally in control of me? Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you why. First, I am head over heels in love with her, okay? Second, she came along in my life right when I needed her most. Third, she's a very loving and caring woman. Fourth, she guides me and has never told me wrong yet. Get it? 
It's like she can read my mind or something. But uh, the Selena Gomez, all right, he's got this weird, weird fascination with Selena Go- Gomez. Uh, it's not not really even a fascination. It's it's more or less a love interest. Uh, he pretty much stalks her, but this is gonna rock your world. This is gonna be this is gonna be something here. Old Jay here, he's got a very strange fascination for Selena Gomez, bordering on the stalker side almost. If you go to Jay's channel, there are a plethora of Selena Gomez videos, and each one of them are just pure gold, especially the you know the PDF allegations. Here's the very first video he made for Selena, editor. You know what to do. Arthur Selena Gomez, Arthur Selena Gomez. The number you have been calling from, 000-012-3456, and telling either me, Jay Herod, or my son, Jacob Herod, to call you back on because you are so busy is a routing number. Selena, neither me or Jacob have been able to call you back because of this. Can't you just call from just a regular phone number so you can be reached? Jacob is getting very frustrated at this. Okay, Selena? Well, Selena and Jacob ever talk? Well, Selena and Jacob ever meet? Stay tuned in for the next episode of Selena Gomez and Jacob Herod. Yeah, the Selena obsession doesn't stop there, but to bring a little bit of context, before Jay proclaimed his love for Selena, he was actually trying to get his, uh, his son. Uh, he was, he was trying to get Selena to go date his son. He was attempting to get her to date his son, Jacob. This was, uh, cleared up in the Jay Herod interview I did, as I found the timeline a little off, uh, and needed more info, so what better way to get the info than to ask the man himself, right? Anyways, here's some more Selena cringe. Hi, this is Jay Herod, and I used to say, and I say used to, brag, I could outsmart any woman and that no woman could ever totally control me. Then along came pretty Selena Gomez and changed all of that. Me, Jay Herod, outsmarted and totally controlled by a woman, and not just by any woman, mind you. Selena Gomez, I keep asking myself, what happened? What happened? Jacob, my youngest son, told me, Dad, you have met your match. Regardless, she's got me. The question now is, now that she has me in my heart, what will she do next? Stay tuned. Now, because people are people and people do math, there was a lot of uh, controversy on whether or not Selena was underage at the time uh, he was making these Selena videos. This was, that, this was apparently backed by Tosh.0, so of course he, he obtained a lot of hate for this. And this this is his response to this. Uh, he was he was irate. He was, he was fucking pissed. It has been said on the show, Tosh.0, to the best of my knowledge, I am a pedophile and by others making comments on my YouTube account. I am not a pedophile, and to say such is slander. They also said I need to be locked up. One radio station said in an interview I need to either be on medication or in a mental hospital. All that is slander. I do not appreciate such false truths being said about me, and if it doesn't stop, I am going to sue. All of this because of my showing of my love for Selena Gomez. She is 18, born on July 22nd, 1992, thus making her a woman. Therefore, I dare any of you say such false truths about me. On this past Sunday afternoon, a boy called to me crying who was having a really a hard time. He told me he wanted to kill himself for two years until he had seen my videos. He said I was his hero, giving him the will to live. He said his mother had died of cervical cancer and he was living with his grandmother who was on crack cocaine. He said he had called the police who had done nothing. This really broke my heart. Now, of all the people in this country he could have called, he chose to call me. 
Why? Because he knew I cared. I hear from kids and teenagers from all over the country all the time because I'm an inspiration to them. Just ask any of them. Go ahead. Ask them. Again? Me? A protophile? No. And far from it. This is Jay Herod again. Thank you. So, you know, this man's been everywhere. He he's uh he's tried dating Selena Gomez. He's he's also uh, been on apparently been on Tosh.0. Uh the National Enquirer, he's actually he was on the National Enquirer. Uh he he was featured in an article, I'm pretty sure. But among all the things that he's achieved in his life, what is what else could the man do? Jay, being the skirt wearing powerhouse that he is, decided that maybe he could be the one to run the United States, you know. And I mean, look at him. Was he wrong in thinking that? Joke Society truly put in effort, uh, had campaign managers, made updates on his Facebook. Things were just looking up for Jay. Uh, here's his campaign speech he posted to his channel. Editor, roll the film. Hi, I'm Jay Herod, and I'm running for president in 2012 with my running mate, Chris True. My name is Chris True and I'm proud to be Jay Harris 2012 running mate for the presidential election. And when we take care of business, we take care, care of, of business. business. So if you really won't change that we will really make, and we're not just talking, we mean business. business. I've always been interested in politics. Uh, you will get off your duck and your keister and donate because as we all know it takes money to, to win, win elections. elections. So there you are. This is Jay Herod and Chris True. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Anyways, the dude, the dude that was standing next to him, I tried to actually get into contact with him. He never hit me back up. Uh, found him on Twitter, though. I'm assuming his presidential campaign didn't really pan out very well, you know. But, uh, you know, it was a good effort. A good effort. That's all the man's about. It's just putting in effort there. As far as strange people go, Jay has quirks and a strange personality. But as far as arcs and sagas go, he doesn't really have much, uh, unlike Carissa. As far as arcs and sagas go, he doesn't really have much, but what he does have are strange in themselves. As there wasn't anything else to speak on about him, here are some of my favorite Jay videos, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. <laughs> Hi, this is Jay Herod. Anyway, there's this guy, Doug, age 30. He has a hard time going to sleep at night, and his girlfriend, Lindsay, who's 28 and lives with him, Asked me to do a lullaby, so hopefully I can get Doug to go to sleep. rock a bye Doug, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come Doug, cradle and all. People find it amazing that I can go from doing a serious video to a funny video in five minutes. Well, guess what? I can do it in seconds. And I'm going to show you how. Say I'm doing like a serious video and it's like, what part of this do you not understand? To pretending that I'm drunk, uh, hey buddy, can you spare me a drink? Hi, how may I help you? To like a cop? Spread them! Now! Hey, Shelly, this is Jay Herod, and your good friend, Jane Hahn, 
wanted me to do a special birthday dance for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Meow, meow. Happy birthday, dear Shelly. Meow, meow. Happy birthday to you and many more. And you, you, meow, meow. And you, 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 do, 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 do. meow, 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 meow. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's going to be more to come. Uh, I know this wasn't as in-depth as the Carissa documentary that I did. But, you know, it is it is what it is. I just wanted to let you guys know about old Jay. Uh, nobody really knows about him. He's a, he's a lost gem to the, the depths of YouTube, you know? And it's really sad to see that... <laughs> It's really sad to see that kind of cringe uh, just escape our, our, our fingertips. Selena, I'm sorry you had to deal with the man. It'd be real cool to get a statement from you, you know, maybe let us know if you, you had any dealings with him or were even aware of his, uh, of his existence. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, all that nice stuff. There will be more documentary style videos along with some gaming ones, but uh, I appreciate you. All right, and I'll see you whenever, I don't know, you decide to put a skirt on your rash. Have a good day.